Both the DOD and small businesses say it's not working. Recently, a Defense Department spokeswoman said the initiative has, quote, led to an erosion of the agency's small business industrial base. Mm -hmm. Yet Congress has renewed the program for another three years. The comprehensive subcontracting test program has gone on for a quarter of a century. And the Pentagon uh, said they're going to test whether eliminating all transparency and penalties for prime contractors on the small business subcontracting programs was going to increase opportunities for small businesses. Think about that. So we're going to eliminate all transparency where the public can had, no longer have, have access to these subcontracting reports to see if these contractors are hitting their goals or not. Plus, we're going to eliminate a penalty that existed previously where prime contractors had to pay liquidated damages in the amount of the deficiency if they hit their small business goal. So it was it's stupid even start that in the first place and test that since it's going to help small businesses. To test it for 25 years is insane, right? Now your group, Lloyd, the American Small Business League, recently won a key legal dispute. A federal judge ordered the Defense Department to release subcontracting data for Connecticut-based aircraft manufacturer Sikorsky. The decision was later delayed by a request from the U.S. Solicitor General. Now the data is slated for release later this month. Um, so we asked for Sikorsky's small business subcontracting plan just as a test. And of course, the Pentagon Sikorsky said no. We took him to court. The judge, the judge actually looked at the entire Sikorsky small business subcontracting plan, said there's nothing in here that's proprietary or confidential, you know, financial information. Give it to the American Small Business League. The day before they're supposed to give it to me, the Solicitor General got involved, which is interesting. I, all I want to see is, can I see Sikorsky, what Sikorsky's small business subcontracting goal is? No! <laughs> the Solicitor General's involved, now Sikorsky's uh, attorneys are involved, the Pentagon's involved, you know, the Justice Department's crazy, you know. Gee, I wonder why. I wonder why the Pentagon won't let us see what Sikorsky's small business subcontracting goal is, right? I'll tell you why, because it's like 0.01%. By federal law, it's supposed to be a minimum of 23. So that's why they're fighting. But here's what I like. So if I come out and say it's a cover-up, I'm a conspiracy nut, right? Yeah, Lloyd Chapman's a conspiracy nut. But guess what we have here? We've got a, a federal judge, William Alsop. Here's what, here's what the federal judge says. The purpose of the Freedom of Information Act is so the public can see how our government works. Congress passed this law to make the small businesses have access to some of these projects, and here's the United States covering it up. Let me read that one more time. The purpose of the Freedom of Information Act is so the public can see how our government works. Congress passed this law to make the small businesses have access to some of these projects, and here's the United States, the United States covering it up. Uh-oh. Federal judge has accused the United States of a cover-up. Sounds pretty serious to me. Um, he goes on to talk about this. Um, oh, that um, Sikorsky is refusing to explain how they comply with the Small Business Act. Um, this is a company extracting dollars, defense dollars, from the taxpayers of our country. Um, that was from his, um, what was that, November 6, 2014 hearing in federal district court. And then uh, a few weeks later, this was January 20th, uh, he describes the American Small Business League as being in a David and Goliath battle. So it'd be more like David and Goliath. You get to come in there and be the underdog again against the big company and against the big government. I like that. By the way, that's like the 10th time I've been uh, compared to David and Goliath. And here's another thing. Uh, this is a judge talking about Sikorsky and Pentagon. They are trying to suppress the evidence. Gee, sounds pretty serious. So it's no longer that conspiracy nut in California Lloyd Chapman. We now have a federal district court judge says it's cover up. They're trying to suppress evidence. Gee, I wonder why. I wonder why. It's because the information I'm asking for will prove the Pentagon has cheated small businesses out of, I would say conservatively, a trillion dollars over the course of the conference of subcontract test program since uh, 1990. Over the last decade, small businesses have been cheated out of as much as a trillion dollars. By the way, they're appealing to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. Here's what I love about that. I won that case 20 years ago. 20 years ago, it was actually the first lawsuit ever won was in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals where the Ninth Circuit ruled the Pentagon cannot withhold small business subcontracting data. So how desperate is the Pentagon and Sikorsky to withhold this information? They're gonna to appeal to the Ninth Circuit. 
that ruled 20 years ago that you can't withhold small business subcontracting data. Um, that's going to be interesting. I, I say, I say that um, this is February. What's the day? The, the 20th. Today's February 20th, 2015. I predict that the Pentagon and Sikorsky will never let this case go to the Ninth Circuit. I predict that they'll drop it at some point in time because if we go to the Ninth Circuit and the Ninth Circuit rule they can't withhold this information, they now have to give me all the uh, reports that have ever been submitted to the Conference of Subcontracting Test Program. But just to uh, make things interesting, next week we're going to do another FOIA request to the Pentagon and ask for only the page from the uh, reports that show what their small business subcontracting goal is. So I'm not going to ask for the whole, you know, pro the whole report, just a single page from every contractor that's participated in the Conference of Subcontracting Test Program since 1990, and to see what they do with, with that one. So. Um, uh, Again, yeah, it's a cover-up. The Pentagon, Sikorsky, all the prime contractors, they've been cheating small businesses for decades, and I caught them, and I'm going to prove it. I'm Lloyd Shatman with American Small Business League. Thanks for watching.